Well, welcome back to Let's Play our Zero Made in Blackwater. Seriously, well, how long these parts go on? It's no wonder why it took two minutes and a bit for the previous part to save and uh, format to MP4. Anyways, we gotta find a way to get on this boat. Can't proceed because we need to. Oh fuck you, asshole! We need to unlock a gate, which is uh, that way. My sense direction is terrible. Uh, where are we going? Yeah, we're going here. We got the key. We can now finally see what the hell is beyond the air. I know that ghost walking up the stairs. Completely beckoning us. But fuck them. We'll deal with that later. We'll cross that road when we get to it. Where the hell are we now? That must have been what it is then, Shadow and the Lattice. When I was back in, you know, the Ahsoka residence in the previous part, it must have been a ghost that appeared, and that's what triggered the thing to like pop up, and I didn't see the ghost, so I didn't realize until. It was too late to take the picture. By several minutes. I'm starting to get. A, something is hanging there. It looks like a person. You sure get around, don't you, sir? And with that thing on your back, I'm surprised. Oh, impressive. Man, you just got absolutely wrecked. Oops. I mean, it was Dead yet? Ah, oh, he didn't let me trace him. I guess that's probably where that other ghost headed off to. But uh, where is this ghost? Uh, not ghost body. This this thing here. I'll really examine it. It all makes sense now. All comes back around. Maiden staring out of water. It's a bit foggy, isn't it? Silk is on the other side. How can you be so sure? There are several large ceremonial flowers lying on the surface. Beyond them, I can see a gate. There's nothing, on the water. There's nothing but mist beyond the gate. Okay, mist, fog, whatever. Where are we now? We need to go upstairs. Although you're leading me a different path. Being beckoning me inside. It's like, come in here. We've got pizza. Expired several decades ago, but we got it. I feel like I'm being led into a trap. Or maybe... I got that, I went to that little shrine a bit too early, didn't I? Now you want to show me the shrine. Of course. 
Now that I've already stumbled upon it purely by chance, now you're like, oh, well, it's going to be relevant now. For reasons. If I had just gone to the boat this whole time, I could have gone around this whole place, you know? And followed the plot at the same time. Okay, there's something here now. I've got him. What do you want? A box appeared at the foot of the set. Contains a plate key and a notebook. Man, it's like the developers are like, shit, man. Uh, we haven't given the player access to these areas yet. And uh, we're near the end of the game. Fuck it, just throw all the keys at them. Cherry blossoms are engraved on the key. Through training, Shrine Maidens approach death. Not exactly the best training. The closest they get, the more they lose themselves, and the maiden must keep strong. By getting closer to death, it is possible to know everything. Well, that's a bit shit, isn't it? <laughs> it's like the closer to death you are. Well, you know, you know, in a sense, you know, you get old, you know, I'm always like, I've got all this information. This is one problem now. I'm too fucking old for this shit now. <laughs> this is how we are able to glance people's thoughts. We all leave behind powerful echoes of ourselves, and as long as these echoes remain, a soul cannot move on. Shrine Maiden must help the soul pass through the world. You must take on the final thoughts. Resonate with them. Continue to embrace them. This is the Shrine Maiden's true role. That kind of brings in the question uh, Miu and Yuri have in that, that very ability that they're kind of talking about the Maidens having. So that's interesting. I'm gonna have to fight a ghost on my way back or something, aren't I? It's like, you took the key! Called it! Ah, oh, it's the worst ghost as well. Ghost just floats around and never goes into its fail frame though. Dodge! Where the fuck are you, you drunk? She comes. Okay, no, she doesn't. She's still drunk. Here she comes. Yeah. Right in the mouth, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Can't get many good shots. Annoys me. Come on down. Ah, uh, not the freaking swaying drunken thing. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. 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 You've had too much to drink. Bring some water to, uh... Oh shit, she's gonna grab me. Ow! Bitch! In a cramped spot as well. They always throw this ghost at you in the worst freaking scenarios. Again, this is another problem I have with this game. It's unbalanced. In the original games, I felt they balanced the placement of the ghost perfectly. Some of the ghosts were bullshit still, like, you know, in the first game especially. And the final boss of the third game was just freaking ridiculous. Oh yeah, you know, boobs were in my face. But yeah, in this game, they're just constantly throwing the worst ghost at you, the worst boss left. Are you dead? Get her over here, I want to glance into your soul. Uh, 
Look, I like boobs as much as the next guy, but uh, your boobs are kind of fake. We done yet? I guess not. I've got that I fall for every time. Yeah. Okay, you want more? You want more there? You want more? Well, I'll give you more. Drunken fool, get down here. You know you're supposed to deal with this shit. Go home, ghost, you're drunk. Let me glance into your soul. Won't you let me glance into your soul? I've got a ghost list to attend to here. He does not understand how hard it is. The fucks. Come on. You stop oh shit. See what I mean? The window on that is just so brief. Come on. Oh no, you're not freaking coming from over there. That's not how we play things. Here we go again. Oh shit, I did it again. Oops. Show me your soul. Finally, stretch. Stretch my boobs too. Yeah. What a relief to find me on that goddamn thing. Jesus Christ, that took forever. Why did they throw it in the water anyway? Don't they just kind of stole them randomly about? I can you imagine that one of those uh, reliquaries washes up on a beach, someone finds it, and there's a living person inside, they'd be like, what the fuck? A wide open area extends beyond the lattice, so I can see several Buddha statues. I just gotta remember where the fuck I was going before all that shit. Are you kidding me? I we're doing this. We're doing this. Okay, who are you? The ghosts are quite sexualized, the babies, aren't they? They always got their boobs in your face. Give me my points, I need an S plus. At least it makes you easier to see. You have green boobs.
green. Everything is green. Hey, Superman! No, he wouldn't. He doesn't fly like that. She's more like trying to be like clean. Uh. Yeah. 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 Right down there. Join with me. Yeah. <laughs> I just like if you ever seen Two America the eight song that film is like everyone hates AIDS. Replace that with boobs. Everyone has boobs. Boob, boob, boobs. Boob, 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 Did I win or did she leave? Whatever. So... Stairs are that way. Are they? Wait, what? I went past. How? Are they just sitting through here? Why does this building sound like it's underwater? Okay, gotta go around here. Let's keep going. Let's just to get a freaking boat. I mean, we got the boat, we just need to open the gates. Through this door? Yes, it is. Not this way. All reliquaries. What's that? That is I come in here somewhere. Someone's hanging from a box filled with dark water. Looks like there's something in there. But nothing we give a shit about. <gasps> How dare you are, you little fucker! You show up now, aren't you? Yeah. Fucking I. I can't remember what buttons you're supposed to mash. Can't remember the tutorial. <laughs> Maybe I should look up a tutorial. Is there a way to actually access them? No, probably. So it's about the power shall not be placed in well race. Guess that's one time where you don't want to have power then, isn't it? If one who is weak is placed inside, they will not survive the pain of the black water and them. You know, unless they actually put you in there. Regardless, because that'd be bad. No stained shells shall not be given a proper death. Sucks to be them. Wrong button. Right. 
right. Um, where would it be? Look at all these drops. Now, Rumi, who the fuck is that? Girl, Soka had been hired to find, and Soka did track down the girl, but Akari killed herself by jumping off the cliff before Soka could reach her. Traumatized, Soka wonders if she's to blame. She stopped taking this investigation after that. Did we read about this? And I just forgot. I mean, you know, there's long stretches between each record session, it's like eight days. Combine that over time, God knows someone had read that. That all makes sense now, doesn't it? That's why she's, you know, hell-bent on preventing Yuri from basically following in this girl's footsteps there. She doesn't want that to happen again. I will actually look over these files at some point. Let's just try to find information on the ghost hand. I don't think any of this would really count for tutorials, so... Oh wait, maybe this would be it. Well, I don't know how, why it would be in here, but still. So. It's all just like files and shit, though. I got screwed over, man. And you don't remember Haruka, remember her and for you. And how the plot just kind of went. Well, who gives a fuck? Moving on. Who's that? Wait a minute. That's that ghost that appeared in the mirror. Wait a minute. Could that be Akari? The girl who threw herself off the cliff? It would make sense why she'd be there, I guess. Especially since now we're finally going to actually properly look for a circuit stuff. I mean, we did last time, but we didn't find it last time. Is there no tutorial shit anywhere? Uh, is there an all button? Yeah, this, um, manual? It's not gonna open the brown. Ah, oh, fucking cool. Spots. Hey, it's like. I mean, it's convenient. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying. Uh. Settings? Well, it wouldn't make sense to be in settings. Fuck it. I can't remember what the fuck button is supposed to match for the ghost app. And that annoys me. Oh, the water, the water is fixed black ink, even with my flash, I can't see what's inside. That is a fair point there. Black water inside the unbox, something large appears to be inside, but even my flash, I can't see what's inside. What about this one? Something is barely visible beneath the surface of the dark water in the box. It almost looks like this. Perhaps it is. Like, I don't care to examine these ones, so... There's something familiar about this place. But it might just be that these places kind of use the same layout a lot. This reminds me of, uh... 
the house of joining. I half expected that old lady to be right around the corner. Where are we? A different part of the building. So it's a creepy well. A present for me. Can I even pick it up? It's the Zero Lands. That these more damage targets the lower health is. Well, that'd be useful for that trophy then, wouldn't it? To use it, yeah, do the usual shit. That's how you get that trophy, man. You, you just quit there and you just go to town on the ghost asses. Something shining on the corpse, or whatever it is that's hanging inside the well. Maybe you'll be able to get it down. Loosen the rope. Timber! I guess it's not really a well then, is it? Just... Yeah, seriously, if the ghosts don't kill him, Hyperfermia is definitely coming for all these. Protagonists here. They're always bloody soaked. Wait, what? Oh, you motherfuckers. In the cramped room? It's you again! Look, I've been through this before. You're the worst ghost to fight in a cramped space. And what do they do? They throw you in a cramped space. The Valver's man. On top of Rune and Miku's character, they're also complete dicks with their, you know, ghost places. Remember that weird, creepy twin doll ghost in Zengian? Put her in a really cramped room, right? But you know the difference is? She wasn't very fast. She wasn't like a giant, you know, uh, floating pile of breasts that was like constantly at you. That's that's the main difference here. This ghost is too big. Like floats through the air like a drunk. Takes forever to get set up a failed frame shot. And when it does, it's very brief. And you put them in this kind of location. Seriously, the amount of times this ghost has spawned in the worst possible places. There's no room to get around here. And, and you know, it's just like, why not exit the camera mode and run around a bit? But that's also pointless, because then you're not going to set up the shot. You're standing on air. Ow! When we're floating through the air. She goes again. Gotcha, bitch. Gah. Gah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, stop swaying like a drunk. Comes. Oh god. Oh, that was a lucky shot there. I would have been dead otherwise. Usually, you have to wait a second before you get the shot. But that worked instantaneously. 
Oh, shit. Oh my god, now we're back to this freaking stage. Really? I'm using up so much herbal medicine in this chapter. Yeah! 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 Yeah, right in the cross. Fuck it. I brought in. It's gonna take forever in this race. No! Oh shit! Yeah, right in the boom. Now well, that was an appropriate shot. <laughs> There she goes. Ow, fuck. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Can I get your autograph? Can you imagine like a reverse kind of autograph? It's like, guys, can I have your autograph? It's like, what's your name? It's like, my name's Yuri Kuzkata. It's like, all right. She just writes you, Yuri Kuzkata on her own grass. It's like, that's not an autograph, man. He's just like, yes, but this makes no sense whatsoever. It's completely stupid. That's just because the boobs are always in the face. Where the fuck am I even going? <laughs> I have completely lost sight of what the hell I was even doing. All these ghost battles, kind of distracting. Have I got every- oh yeah, the uh, the thing I'm about, the corpse. So I need to go... Downstairs, I think? Which I can go from this way, dang it. Now where the hell it's dropped down to, I forget. It might be over here. It's actually... God damn it. This confusing layout that is, man. It's here. So, yeah, it would be on that side, wouldn't it? So, over in this direction. Through here. Yes. <laughs> this little. Did she have her eye closed? Did she have this? It's like, I'm so fucking done with this place. Ah, there it is. Whatever it is. Yeah, it was a body. Road query key. Well, now where this goes. Hey, can I? Which way is quickest? I'll be back the way I came, probably, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, wait, what? 
it's weird. You usually see a figure move when they do that, but I guess sometimes you just don't. It's the other way through the ice can do. Which way did I come in from? Where the hell am I? I'm lost. Remember in the previous part, I spent the whole part going around the whole building looking for items. Then right at the end, it's like, finally, we're getting on this boat. I thought we're gonna, you know, get right on to that at the start of this part, but no, we're like 36 fucking minutes in. We're no closer to getting on that goddamn boat. We still got shit to do. So I go down here, all the here, all the here, and yeah, we can get in from that side as well. So go down there, go around there, go around there. Alternatively, we could go upstairs, go for here, and then go down there. That makes more sense to me, actually. So, yeah, let's go up the stairs. Then we go this way. Just double checking. What a beautiful view. Oh wait. I can see leaves at the end of the hallway. It seems to be the courtyard. The hallway looks like it run around the little boat. And you've done that several times already. So you see, if I was in this position, I mean, I wouldn't be, because... I mean... Seriously, fuck that. <laughs> And, you know, if I were to, I'd be so out of shape and be like, man, he's just gonna fucking destroy me, man. <laughs> I'd probably be like this. I'd just be like, stationary, move around a little bit, camera, always out at all times, like, pew, 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 fuck you. Anyways, we gotta go downstairs. How do we go downstairs? Is it gonna be revealed that Hisoka's in here? Cause that'd be a twist. It'd be like, oh, we don't need the boat after all. Oh, the is now open. Are you f Oh. It was a fake Rail Quarry. I was about to say it, and it was like, you're fucking crazy, you're gonna get locked in. Well, you could still get locked in, Dick. Taboo of glancing. To glance into someone is to take on their thoughts, their secrets. The weak do so with a touch, while the strong can do it with a look. A true glance. However it is done, the result shall be the same. The power is power is of the netherworld. By drenching oneself in the mountain's waters, the heart melts and joins with the water, strengthening the one who glances. Getting close to the death falls to bring strength, allowing one to take on more thoughts for secrets. Strong thoughts make for stronger pillars. The thoughts are sealed with the pillar inside the railway. To open this box and let these thoughts overflow is to invite disaster and its forbidden. So is this whole thing just about having these superpowers? Is that the whole reason they do it? Not to prevent calamity or anything? Or maybe it's because they've got this forbidden power of sorts that they have to do all these uh, crazy rituals in. But it always goes horribly wrong in the end. Small box is placed in front of the crouched statue. It contains a plate. How many of these keys are there? Crouching statues. They must represent three shrine maidens. Well, thanks for that. I did not make the connection on that. 
except for the boobs. They did have boobs, so I guess there's a connection. Wait, wait, is that corpse of fell also one of those then? Might have been. I now have the moon and cherry keys. So now I can unlock that door. Things you do just to get a freaking gate open so you can freaking use the boats. Ridiculous. Which way would be quickest? Well, certainly not that way. Seriously, I could have explored this whole damn building while doing plot stuff. I wasted time looking for items before advancing the plot. Didn't realize we we're gonna be going all over the damn place anyway. I've already glanced into your soul several. Oh shit. Maybe did. You have glanced too much for one day. I will Enough with your soul gone. I've just got the song uh, Heart and Soul in my plane in my head now. <laughs> And I have not for copyright, I would totally put, like, random songs over this shit, just to see how absurd it would look. Yeah! Yeah! Hmm. You know, our next ghost battle, I might actually uh, insert a sort of music track that I made it. By ages ago, I mean, maybe a month or two ago. Maybe a little longer than I I was messing around with the uh, media effects in. Uh, and it's very limited because, you know, I can't use my proper keyboard. I have to use the laptop keyboard, and it just limits me to like C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. That's all the notes I can play. It's like, why do you say C and D twice? Because they're octaves. But, you know, this is one kind of rhythmic kind of uh, synth thing, and it sounds really cool. You barely have to play any notes to make it sound good. Kind of ridiculous. So, our next ghost battle, we'll get that music. Where am I going? I'm going around there. Now I'd say next ghost battle, but that is provided it isn't in fact a ghost boss battle. Or a boss ghost battle, rather. Now this part's gonna be long as well, isn't it? Already up to 44 minutes. Unless, you know, the chapter ends the second we get on that boat. This is going to be three parts. Probably. Possibly. Cherry and Moon! Door's now open. I thought this would be the final boss room, but I guess not. Oh, you're the yellow statue, so... Wait, you said it were three statues. Are you the third one? Or... I don't know. Maybe you're the fourth one. Maybe that's why it's all gun shit, because four's an unlucky number in Japan. You know what I find interesting? It's also an unlucky number in China as well, isn't it? And I don't get that. I can understand it in Japanese. Because she. It's like, she what? She is, you know, deaf. But it also can be the number four. Which is weird. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's also like, you know, free, son, you know? But it can also be me, apparently. 
And the reason I know this is because the Vocaloid Hatsune Miku, her name Miku, has the number 3 and 9, which is why you see like 39 or 39, whatever. A lot with her. Because that's the character's in her name. It's, it's kind of weird, you know? It's, like, four is yon, but then it can also be she under certain circumstances, which is basically sounds exactly like death, which, which is she. You know, you ever hear this? Like, she ne. It's like, die. So, yeah, I get that, but in Chinese, do they have the similar thing where it's like pronounced the same? I mean, I know Japanese borrow the kanji characters and all that, but it's, it's got nothing to do with the pronunciation, surely. So, how would. China also have the same kind of thing. Like, ah yes, you see. In East Asia, we decide to pronounce the number four the same way we pronounce death. For whatever reason, we do not know. Or maybe there is a natural explanation for it, or maybe it's just coincidence. Doesn't matter. On a man to cry. Maidens in the black water and rail graves as pillars. No maidens sleep as pillars, neither alive nor dead. Reliving their Reliving the pain of ours in a cycle unending. Well, it sucks to be them. The stronger the pillow, the greater the pain they endure. This is basically every single, you know, antagonist in this series, really, isn't it? I say that, but I can't really remember the second one. I know Psy was... I know Psy's deal, but I'm not sure if it was... I don't know. The point is, it always ends with a bunch of people dead and stuck to live on with suffering forever and ever. So the pillow the great the pain they endure. The pain is too much, the box opens, and the pillow meat melts into the black water. Well, that explains how water ghosts got out then. This weakness weakens the ward against the shadow spring, and so the mountain cries out in pain. Cry as the maiden's pain, a sign of calamities to come, you know? Part of it seems like some of them were voluntary, but you know, seeing it at a glance into that uh, floaty, bubbly ghost, she did not go willingly. So, what's up with that? I wonder if we've gotten the double digits yet. In the middle of the room is a statue of a crouching woman. It's the water guardian shrine me. Have a great interest. If you make me have to go somewhere again, I'm gonna be an eyes. Stop touching at me, game. Aha, this just opens the gate, I guess. There's something in the photo. Get his open the shrine on a world sorry, it can be seen in this. Or do I have to take that picture myself? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Three maidens, statue of war guardian, shrine maidens turn face outside. That's where the gate to the lake is. Maybe it's open now. I was about to say that if we had to go visit all the other statues and turn them a certain way, I'd be pissed. Three pillars. Once the black water flowed forth, the three strong pillar pillars threw themselves in, and the shadow spring was sated. The three pillars eventually succumbed to darkness. They live on as statues. In a literal sense, I guess, they are these statues. Or is it just. I mean, we're dealing with the paranormal, so. In the shrine of the ephemeral. I can't pronounce that word. Three pillars collapsed and five more took their place. All of Matakami became a barrier. One the black water could not overcome. So long as Matakami stands, the black water shall never again overflow. Well, yeah, that didn't go well for you, did it? Crouching statue turned to face the window. This must be the direction of the shrine on the water. So I guess I can go now. 